The 2019 MLS season has come and gone, and while Seattle Sounders were MLS Cup champions, the most successful and dominant team was LAFC. I found them the most intriguing because tactically, they were very different and in a lot of ways more advanced than every other MLS team. LAFC's extensive possession and quick press was enough to down most opponents, but the system showed flaws and there were chances for opponents to go at and expose those weaknesses. Over the course of several videos, I'm going to look back at LAFC's season and break down several aspects of Bob Bradley's tactics. And then I'll show how, despite the dominance over the course of the regular season, LAFC were not eventual MLS Cup champions. Let's take a second look. In this video, I'm going to look at four aspects of LAFC's on-the-field play and analyze what Bob Bradley was trying to get his players to do, as well as any weaknesses. The first is LAFC's shape. That is, how LAFC position themselves on the field and a few different roles that different players can take up. The second is LAFC's press. Upon losing the ball, how was LAFC so adept at winning it back? I'll look specifically at how they made the pitch small and swarmed within that space. The third is attacking patterns of play. Specifically, I'll look at areas of the field they targeted, ways they moved the ball, and a few types of combinations they played. The fourth and final is where LAFC were weak. LAFC ran rampant on many teams in MLS, but the signs of weakness were there. In this portion, I'll look at where the vulnerabilities were and how teams best exploited them. There are a few things I want to identify before we begin, however. The first, regarding shape, is the diamond. The shape will pop up a few times throughout this video, but I want to take this time now to mention how the diamond was the backbone to what LAFC wanted to accomplish. Keep an eye out for how LAFC uses them to create better angles. Another is Zone 14. The soccer field can be broken into 18 zones, and while there can be arguments about the importance of each, I will focus on Zone 14, which is a space right on top of the box. This is actually a pretty big part of the field, so for the sake of this video, when I mention the Zone 14, I'm usually specifically looking at a pocket of space directly in front of the two center backs, usually right in the D on the edge of the 18. In this video, I'll look at how LAFC occupied and made the most use of chances in Zone 14. The last is the half space. Again, cutting the field into sectors, the half space is not quite the center of the field and not quite the wings. This is again a large part of the field, so when I mention it, I'm usually referring to here, a pocket of space between the fullbacks and the center back, as well as between the winger and the center midfielder. The reason this is such an effective part of the field is because of the angles it creates. In this space, it's often easier to receive a vertical pass than in zone 14, and there is still the option to play wide, centrally, forward, or to the other wing. Playing in the half space allows players to cross, slot a winger, curl a far post shot, take on a defender, square it centrally, play a through ball, cut into the middle, just about every possible attacking option you could want, with the bonus of usually having more time and space than in zone 14. LAFC targeted the half space constantly in 2019. We'll get to that shortly, but I'll leave one question on why this position is so dangerous before we move on to LAFC's shape. When the ball is played into the half space, how should the defense react? Should the fullback stay wide and mark the LAFC winger or overlapping fullback, or should they tuck in and leave the wing open? Should one of the center midfielders slide out and vacate zone 14? Should a center back step out of the back line to close it down, or should the outside midfielder track all the way back and tuck in? I'll leave you that question to give you an idea on how many different options there are to defend that zone, how each and every one they leaves an opening or some sort of other weakness in a different part of the pitch.